Hello, dear viewers. I, Pravesh Ranauti, warmly welcome you to my YouTube channel, Learning Education. Well, I hope you have enjoyed watching my series, lecture series on uh, reliability and welding metals of nickel based alloy. Well, this time I have come up with a lecture series on reliability and welding metallurgy of chrome wally steels. Applications demanding boiler and pressure vessels and steam pipes in thermal power plants, chemical high pressure synthesis, parts in oil refineries demand material to withstand that can withstand high temperature, elevated temperature, and high pressure. As you can see in the pictures, so chrome moly steel have been found to be the most suitable material for this purpose because they possess high temperature strength and oxidation resistance. In composition, chromium is ranging from 0.5 to 9 percentage and molybdenum from 0.5 to 1 percentage and sometimes a small amount of vanadium is also added for strengthening purpose. For these steels are air hardening steels. It means they obtain hardness by uh, quenching in air only. The chromoly steels are covered under ASTM A387 plate material, AS, sorry, ASTM A335 pipe material, and ASTM A213 as tube material. Nominal composition of chrome moly steels half chrome half moly to nine chrome one moly. You will see the important alloying elements are chromium and molybdenum. And the carbon is more or less controlled to 0.1 to 0.15, and manganese is generally 0.3 to 0.6. And sulfur and phosphorus are controlled to very low level because they are the impurity alloying elements. 9 gram 1 moly steel is also containing small amount of vanadium, niobium, and nitrogen, like 0.18 to 0.25 percentage vanadium, 0.06 to 0.1 niobium, also called columbium and 0.03 to 0.07 nitrogen. One of the simplest form of oxidation is known as corrosion and it occurs by the process of diffusion of oxygen inwards and alloying elements outwards. So this phenomenon becomes very uh, significant when the surface temperature is about 5 to 5 degrees Celsius. Oxidation rate of plain carbon steel increases rapidly. But the chromium in composition steel increases the resistance to oxi oxidation because chromium forms a tightly adhered layer of chromium oxides on the surface of the metal and that would reduce the inward diffusion of oxygen. Silicon and aluminum steel also increase the oxidation resistance appreciably. So in composition, silicon and aluminum have also a role to play. Creep resistance. How can we define the creep? Creep is a time dependent deformation. It occurs after the application of load to a solid, especially at elevated temperature. So for a creep to take place, the conditions must be satisfied as uh, high temperature or exposure to elevated temperature and the temperature should be more than 0.4 times the melting point of the material and material should be under constant tensile load. So Crip strength is important about the temperature range of 525 to 535 degrees Celsius and is a primary factor in determining the design stresses above this temperature. Now in the picture you can see a material has been cracked 
and it is because of the creep. Creep test is carried out to determine the creep rate directly related to the applied stress and the test temperature. Now in subsequent slide, we will see the creep test. So here on the left top, you see, you would see a uh, specimen which is uniaxially rotted and uh, this is the original gauge length L0. Now uh, after certain hours of time period, there will be some elongation in the gauge length because of the constant stress. So L0 plus delta L and this setup is conducted under uh, high temperature for a, any temperature of our uh, test and this elongation or the strain versus time is plotted and the curve is known as creep curve. So this creep curve creep strength is strains to produce a creep rate of 1% per 100,000 hours. So actually the specimen is loaded. The specimen will be, will have some initial elastic strain and there will be a primary creep. Then this uh, resistance to deformation and this is balanced by the secondary creep. And finally, it reaches into the third region known as tertiary creep. And here, failure suckers. This table provides a correlation between room temperature tensile strength and 100,000 hours rupture strength for two quarter chrome one mole steel. As you would see, that the room temperature tensile strength for different chromoly steel ranging from 655 megapascal to 793 megapascal. Now over a uh, exposure of 100,000 hours at various uh, service temperature 420 degree, 427 degree, 482 degree, 538 degree, you see the strength drops 365, 260 to 186. So strength, tensile strength of the material drops over a range of uh, temperature and uh, over a period of time. Now in our next uh, class, we will be discussing about the weld ability of the creep resisting steels. Hope you are enjoying watching the lecture series. Please keep watching. Thank you very much.